And good morning to your vote counts. I'm Scott Mitchell, and the Senate takeover is over. It happened last week. <laughs> Leader Eccles, Jason Dunnington. Let's talk about this legislative session. So media focuses a lot on a jillion bills. I understand that. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. But the pace of the session, the Senate has a new budgeting process. How's it look to you? Yeah, we actually talked about the pace of the session uh, prior to session starting, but let me tell you, it has started off with a fury. Uh, it is Monday through Thursday, uh, committee meetings right now. There's already stuff happening on the Senate and the House floor. It is a really, really fast pace right now, even for those of us uh, that have spent many years in the building. Um, but. That's not to say that there's not some good things taking place right now, and it's not to say that there's some stuff going through that we should probably all be a little bit worried about. Um, but yeah, it's fast, it's furious. Make sure you watch News 9 to <laughs> get a, an idea of what's taking place during the week. Okay, so it's the last things. We're not talking about the Michael Jordan version. We're talking about McCall, Treat, Eccles. I mean, the leadership that's been there for a long time. You've seen a lot of these sessions. What do you think about the pace? Yeah, we, we came out fast and furious on the House side, and I love it. I, I think we're doing great work. I've already presented eight bills in committee. Uh, I, I presented four in committee last week. We're moving forward. We have bills running on the House floor. We've already sent a veto override to the uh, veto override reinstituting the chiropractic board, and that wasn't aggressive. It was actually with the support of the governor. Uh, it's moving fast, and that's a good thing. Oftentimes what happens on election years is legislators get paralysis by analysis. But the reality is, James Lankford spoke to our caucus yesterday, and he said a great line. We were elected to do hard things, and that's what we're trying to do this session. I'm proud of the legislators, House and Senate. And James Lankford's been trying to do some hard things. Okay. It's always interesting to see media coverage of the of the session because of being boom everywhere. There's different stuff. A lot of bills get covered. They ain't going anywhere, as my English teacher will get. I'll be getting in trouble with that one. But the notable bills that you're watching. Yeah, well, there's some really big ones coming on. One I'd like to talk about that's, that's mine that's not getting a lot of attention but is going to move the state forward is my trust bill. I'm trying to make Oklahoma the best state in the nation for trust laws, so for estate planning, to help our banks, help our estate planners, help our people. And we are going to do, we are going to be, become the best state in the nation by the time we're done with this. We also have some bills dealing with the film, and, film industry to help get us into the live action film so we're, we're more niche focused. There's huge things. Obviously, tax cuts is going to dominate the day. That's my number one priority. But the legislature can walk and chew gum. So in addition to tax cuts, there are some other really important bills we have going. And things are happening on that end. Speaking of film, you were one of the, the architects of that film rebate. But other things that have caught your eye so far? Well, I think it's great that it took my colleague to the end of his question to talk about taxes. That's definitely one of the biggest things that's taken place in the Capitol is the conversation around taxes. But I also think you have uh, Edmund Senator Kristen Thompson uh, that's running um, some pretty sweeping economic development legislation. It'll be interesting to see where that all lands. The whole purpose of that is to attract new business and new private uh, investment money into the state of Oklahoma. On the House side, uh, they've already been moving forward. We've talked on this show about artificial intelligence and there is some legislation that's passing there and if you're not paying attention folks there are like 45 states that are moving legislation on artificial intelligence right now it's going to be what we talk about a lot over the next five years all right you mentioned the city of Edmond they they and the SDE are into it over a topic you've heard about and we're also going to pay tribute to a force of nature when we come back <laughs> 